this was me. Cute, right? Now, I know you just saw the title slide, so I know that you know the answer to the question, but what sport do you think this cute little girl would grow up to play? <laughs> if you said rugby, I think you're lying, but that's right. So I'm a rugby player, and I'm proud of it. Maybe you have a different perception of me now, based on kind of what I'm wearing now. Um, but maybe now that you know that I play rugby, you think I'm a little scary or kind of cool or a little psychotic. But I love telling people that I play rugby. I love the expressions that they make. Seriously, how big their eyes get. And it tells me something, that I've debunked some kind of stereotypical myth of what a woman is and the kind of sports that they think she should play. If nothing else, take this away tonight. Rugby is awesome. When I say full contact, I mean full glorious contact. You'll make lasting friendships, and to play a game is so rewarding. Right, the hooker. So the hooker is the player who gets the ball out of the scrum to the eight man and out to the backs. What did you think I meant? <laughs> Another reason I love playing rugby is being able to say words like that out of context. <laughs> These are some other great words that would have significance to you if you were a rugby player. Words like grubber or flanker, of course, hooker. Uh, one of my favorites is uh, ruck. <laughs> Suggestive. Here's another word that is a cool one, is rugger. In British slang, rugger actually refers to the game itself. But in the States, to be a rugger is to be a player. And it goes further than that. It's to be a part of a larger community, a community that spans 120 countries. This is also a fast-moving game. We keep the game in motion for as long as possible. That said, there is no place for a player to fake an injury for a penalty kick. You know what I'm talking about, soccer players. <laughs> we don't waste that time. Furthermore, we also treat our refs with respect. We don't talk back and we thank them for the call. If we're going to talk to them, we say things like, thank you, sir, thank you, ma'am, or just thank you, ref, because what the ref says goes. So you play until you hear that whistle. Tackling is not for wussies. I remember my captain telling me that we were going to get rocked. So accept it. You learn how to take a hit and how to give one. You get low and then you drive hard. Then you learn how to fall. Simple, right? That said, there is a good way and a dumb way to tackle. <laughs> the best way is to actually get low, wrap, and then drive. The dumb way, uh, shown by yours truly, is to pull someone on top of yourself. <laughs> Don't do that, but we'll practice this later. <laughs> now, this is going to seem odd to you non-rugby folk, but I love to get bruises. Because in this sport, we treat our bruises like medals. You know, black and blue colored medals. But <laughs> this is a team sport. I know other sports make that claim, but in this sport, we need all kinds of players, from the muscular bruisers to the lanky runners because each player is an integral part of the entire team. Okay, so I've played maybe about a little over four years. I still consider myself a rookie. And so I'm grateful to be on the Tempe women's team because <laughs> they're always willing to teach me something and that I appreciate, you can't even imagine. So you just played 80 minutes of rugby. That's two 40-minute halves. You're dirty, you're bruised, you're bloody, maybe a little tired. What now? If you said go ice down, rugby may not be for you. You have a social, of course, because what is the best way to end a game of rugby than having a game of beer pong, shoot the boot, keg stands, or drinking, or sorry, singing some dirty, and I mean dirty, songs. But here's the reason I love playing rugby the most. While you may have been hurt by another player on the opposite team, you don't hold animosity. In fact, it's the home team's responsibility to host a social, so as you're drinking beers, you're making lasting connections and congratulating each other on a great game. Soon, your teammates will become your mates, your friends. After a couple of games and socials, you really start to enjoy each other's company on and off the field. I mean, doesn't that look like fun? <laughs> okay, so now you know rugby is awesome, right? I also wanted to tell you guys that rugby is accessible to all. It doesn't matter your level of fitness or your knowledge of the game. If you're interested, we would love to have you. 
I encourage you to come out and play. So please check out these websites. That's the Tempe Rugby's website, my blog. I talk about it all the time. And I have a bunch of rugby girls with me tonight. Please come out and ask some questions. Thank you so much.